Hello guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. My name is John and today we're going to be learning how to extract colors or many colors from an image so we can use it later for when we texture our object. So today we're going to be texturing this, uh, this cube here with uh, some colors. We're just going to paint over it with some random colors that we can extract from an image. And the way we do that is um, assuming your cube or your object is already unwrapped. Um, if it's not unwrapped, all you need to do is go into edit mode, press A to select and hit U, and the easiest way is to do a smart UV and then press OK. And when you head back to your um, your object in texture paint mode, you should have the little uh, unwrapping here. <clears throat> okay, so all you have to do is uh, let me just um, open up this little panel here. And you you'll want to make sure you're in the paint mode here. Um, when you go to paint, all you really do is choose a color in here. You you could choose a color at any time, um, but you know. Blender also offers you, you this thing called color palette. And you can choose F palette. And these are some default colors that you can choose from um, to paint. Okay. So, but what if you don't want to use these colors? And what if you're like, okay, I want a green color or a blue color, but I can't find the right one. But maybe you, you have an image with all the colors that you want. Um, Blender makes it pretty easy to extract those colors from the image. And all you need to do is click open and you want to find a nice image, uh, one, you know, where you want the colors from. I'm going to choose one really quickly here. All right, let's see. I think I'm about ready here. I found an image on the internet. And this is it. It's this nice, like, smoke, red, and blue gradient. Um, I'll put the link to the author's, the author's uh, uh, page down below uh, in, the, in the description if you want to check out his other stuff. Okay, so all you need to do next is go up to Image and go to Extract Palette. And with this little message down here informing you that the palette has been created. Again, make sure you're in paint mode. And down the drop down, you'll now see your uh, new palette created. And these are all the different colors that it was able to find within this image. So you have some tan colors, red from light, uh, bluish teal all the way down to pink and purples and reds in here. Um, some very nice teal colors that you can use. And uh, you can just start painting. Just paint your heart out. <clears throat> yep. And then once that's done, it's kind of laggy because I'm filming, but um, once your painting is done, just make sure you save it. Um, or you can just like get rid of it. And, uh, if you don't want that image in the background, you can just get rid of it, and uh, you can still use these these palettes. You can just paint directly on the uh, the box. Oh, actually, never mind. You have to create uh, a new image first. So we'll just use this um, box texture. We'll just call it box texture and keep it black. So now we'll be able to paint directly over it and just kind of make it crazy if you want. Just start using colors and um, this is nice pink and we'll use this red here. Just put that there. Um, simply just save your image. Uh, you want to save this somewhere. I'll just hit save and then save this. Um, I'll save this inside my texture painting photos. And all you do next is go to the shading tab. Um, if you have 
uh, Node Wrangler enabled. If you don't, you can find Node Wrangler inside Preferences, Add-ons, and Node Wrangler. It's built into Blender. You just need to turn it on. So just hit that check mark. Uh, it'll give you a bunch of commands to to run. So uh, back in the shading tab here, you'll want to click on Principled BSDF and just hit hold control and hit T and it'll give you the node set up for image texturing <clears throat> and all you want to do next is open up that uh, file you saved and you'll probably also want to be in this uh, last rendered tab and there you go you have yourself a textured cube using the colors extracted from an image pretty neat Alright, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you learned anything, please subscribe and like this video, share it with your friends, and also, most importantly, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Have a great day.